The cross has been around for a long time, crucifying people. The Romans used it for thousands of years before Christ was ever used on it. And the cross is, the top of it is energy, lightning, fire. The left side is wind, the right side is water, and the bottom, that's why the cross is always on the dome, is earth. Earth, the four elements of banking, control the four elements of the people, their food, their energy, their breathing, their air, and the, and the crops that they grow in the soil. And you will have, and tax all of it, and you will have a bank, and build your, your bank. So Jesus had two keys. Two keys made corporate. And the keys were always on Peter's belt. There's 32 keys in the... There's 32 positive, 32 negative, 64 keys all together. This is new to me. It's uh, You don't know about it because you're not a bishop or a cardinal. Yeah. I'm a key master. The symbols on your playing cards are keys. The zodiacs are keys. Tarot is keys. The symbols in tarot. In astrology are keys. And those are what make up the keys. Who's been to the Vatican? None of you? When you go to the Vatican, you cross a granite step. It's about four feet by six feet. On the granite step, there are two granite keys connected to a rope that goes around. And the rope holds the two keys together because it's corporate. There are two keys to open the door to the Vatican. Two, two making corporate, and the Vatican was the bank. So when you take the keys, you have, it's like two hands together. I'm making a cross now, okay? And the, the, uh, <clears throat> the keys are, are laid, laid on the ground like this, my thumbs being the, the lock and this, my hands being the straight, and they're connected by a rope. When you put the keys together, it makes the cross. When you look at the keys hanging on the Pope's seal, they're turned like this. And then when you have, and the keys are always on Peter's belt. Now, because it was corporate. Now, Jesus had the keys until 34 AD and he gave them to Peter. Peter had them until 79 AD when he then gave them to the first pope. And the first pope didn't have money, so he went to Persia and borrowed money from Persia to build the Vatican. And that's why all the arches are Persian arches. And the clock is money, is time, interest. Now, the Muslim religion only has rent, R-E-N-T. They're not allowed to charge interest. Because in means no, and T-E-R is terra, no earth, contract. Because all the contracts for interest are written in adverb verb. It's a lie. And that goes back to the beginning 2,000 years ago. Thank, thank you for that. You, I'm not telling you. So when you take the keys, which are faced like this, and you put them together like this, they then create the cross. So the cross is the advertisement of the keys. And that's why there's always two towers in all the Catholic churches around the world, because they represent the two keys. And if you look at the church, the way it's built, and if you're here in Milwaukee, you go down to Marquette University on, on 13th and Wisconsin Avenue, which is Masonic. And you'll see the keys park about a block on Well Street and then look at the church, looking down 13th Street at the church. And you'll see the keys staring you right in the face and the clock in the middle, which is interest for banking. It's a big bank. And I've been in the Gold Falls at the Vatican. When I, when I, when I established myself as a key master and they... I went up to this nun, she was 86 years old, and <clears throat> I, I had my book with me. I said, you ever see this? She says, yeah, that's uh, federal judge David Wood Miller's book. He broke the math interface on grammar. 
he says, uh, so I pulled out my passport, my driver's license, and I held it up to her. She says, oh my God, it's you. Can I have your autograph? <laughs> and she, so she closed up her information booth, and she then, because she had been at the Vatican for 45 years, she then called all her bishops and cardinals that were friends of hers as an entourage for three days. We went everywhere around the, the Vatican, everything that was closed to the public, all the back rooms up in the dome in the cold vaults, and there, down the basements, or the, the catacombs, and uh, everything that I saw, I could translate. And they never met anybody could translate, put the missing words in. And when I walked up to, to see Cardinal Sedana, the, the clown, Swiss stripe security guard says, no, you can't. So I pulled out my little piece of paper and I folded it, made the cross, the keys. He says, and he bowed to me, he said, you're a key master. And he went, God, Cardinal Sedana. See, that's... And we wrote a treaty together. <laughs> we wrote a treaty together, and he's going like, "Who? Where did you come from?" Well, after I broke, after I published the Lord's Prayer on the internet, and Pope Paul read it, he said it was the first time in his life he ever understood the Lord's Prayer because it was written in frontwards and backwards in correct grammar. And so he invited me to come to the Vatican. And then when I was there, they opened in 1999. They opened a seminar in. Austin, Texas, to teach David Wood Miller's syntax grammar and syntax the Bible uh, for the cardinals, bishops, and nuns, so they could go into their churches. And every time I walk into a church and I start syntaxing, they uh, charge me with trespassing and kick me out of the church. I kicked out of nine churches. No. Statements like that leave me speechless. I don't have anything to say. But just well, walk into a church and start syntaxing the Bible or the, the hymnals. <laughs> the hymnals of all churches are Parse. You want to learn Parse? Pick up a hymnal. It's all written in Parse. Right there, plain view. And music is mathematics. So now you got mathematics and Parse all written together. That's fourth music and white people sing. And anybody that was successful and brought wrote a hit song like Michael Jackson or the Beatles, they understood parsley and mathematics.